Storyteller number five, mga kaibigan, ang kanya pong ikukwento ay pinamagatang Lost in Lockdown. We welcome Jaime Ascalon, who will talk about how he almost had a panic attack when he found out that he did not know how lost he was in life until the lockdown. Good evening, Jamie Ascalon. Hello, thank you, thank you. Um, so, thank you for having me. I guess to start with, I'll go with Once Upon a Lockdown. So, Once Upon a Lockdown, normal is that I, I was doing my usual routine. I'd wake up, I'd eat my breakfast, go straight to internship, which is virtual. And then after my internship around the afternoon, I'd work out. And then I'd watch my K-dramas. And then I'd go to sleep. But there was this one night about two weeks ago where everyone was asleep in the house. And the lights were all closed. And it was just me, dark, uh, pitch black darkness, my phone, and my thoughts. And I'm actually here in this couch, uh, just laying down. And then out of nowhere, as in out of nowhere, it was like a truth bomb coming down. Boom! Oh, my sound effects. It hit, it hit me that I didn't know what to do with my life at all. And why, why is this a big thing? <laughs> why is this a big thing? Because if me, my personality, ever since I was young, I, I'd always I don't visualize my future. So let's say when I was 13, when I was around 15, I wanted to be a UAP. And thankfully last year, I was able to visualize my life. But that night, I just couldn't. And that scared the shoot out of me. It really gave me not up so anxious. So I started researching. What? Should I do like um, because my plan A and my plan B, they're put, they're both, they're, these are a pilot. And right now, if we, when I was studying the market, uh, in the it'll take a lot of years before it recovers. And my plan B was to be to work for ABS to continue working for ABS CBN Sport. Um, and you can see I was grieving in a way. So I had an hour, an hour 30, of, uh, 30 minutes of sleep. And I woke up, it was around brunch, brunch time. And I usually have br brunch or l lunch with my parents. And so my mom was there when she's, you know, when something's bothering me. She's actually watching right now. So hi, mom. Um, and she could say, anak, she's a tito of Manila, so she's like, oh, anak, what's wrong? Like, I know, like, what, what, what's, what's up? And I said, mom, uh, I honestly don't know what to do with my life. And she was kind of surprised. But she did, her advice was put in a way that didn't give me any pressure. She gave a lot of good advice. She gave a lot of good counsel. But one of the things that hit me was when she said, be patient with yourself. And that hit me. It, can, it gave me a certain calmness. Because why did I panic? Why, why, throughout my, why is it that throughout my whole life, I could visualize my future? I think one reason is, uh, going back, is that my generation, speaking of, have everything in plan too much. I don't know if my and if you could uh, relate, but we have this certain thing. And, and one, of this, one of the reasons is because of social media then. It's our disease that we compare our life, we compare our success to the success of others. And I tend to do that a lot. At 21, I have to graduate college. 
At 23, I have to have a stage. At 28, married, 30 kids. You tend to have that certain mindset. And that's one of the diseases of social media. But when my mom said, be patient, take that in to reflect on that. We're living in a pandemic and we have to survive on an everyday basis. We have to take care of ourselves on an everyday basis. So the exciting part is, do I know now what to do next year or what I, what, what I want to do after I graduate? No, not at all. I don't know. Maybe, who knows, next year, maybe I could be a chef or a professional skydiving, skydiving instructor. It, it's actually exciting now that I don't know, I can't visualize it and I don't know what to do. But uh, if you're watching this and I just want to tell the story, the stories are the certain how we're lost. But I hope it applies to everyone that so that, tell that to yourself every day. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. So that's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie is um, 58 years old. Bata pa. daming He's a small dude with a big personality. Ayon sa kanya. And he has a million crazy stories and an insane obsession for Chucky. Chucky? The chocolate drink, not the horror movie character. Thank you.